Okay, so someone wanted to know my settings for Super Smash Bros. Pro. I actually do not have like a stream settings. All I use is here. All I use is updates and DLC and that's it. This mod is 30 frames per second mod and boot straight to the menu are actually good if your computer is very weak. So you can get these. I'll link them down in the description. But if your computer can handle it, you don't need these two. You only need the update and DLC. And aside from that, you look here. I'm gonna show you from here because this one is not using a costume a costume settings, it's using these settings. So this is what I have in general. Limit speed percentage, multi-core CPU emulation, confirm confirm asset while emulating is running. It's numbers are exactly like that. Then we go to the system and all this looks exactly like that. Nothing nothing to touch here. On CPU for this game I keep it in auto. Graphics I use OpenGL and Glams back shader backend. You can use Vulkan if you're using AMD or if it works better for you. And here, since I'm using NVIDIA, so I'm using NVIDIA and I said I'm using OpenGL, I mark this one. If you're using AMD, then you have to put Vulkan and then you will have to uncheck this one and check this one for AMD. But since I'm not using AMD, I'm going with OpenGL and I'm going with OpenGL here and Glams. The rest is exactly like this. Use this pipeline shade, use a synchronous GPU emulation, accelerate ASC texture decoding, advance like this, default, normal accuracy level. Then we go to audio, keep it like that. And controls, I use the pro controller when I'm playing Smash. And I use an Xbox 360 controller. And everything else is just like this. So we tap OK. And we're going to the game. One thing I forgot to mention in my latest video is that you'll thump this is on and when you finish playing with the motion controls, all you gotta do is click here, um, click here on server and there you turn it off and you can get out of the app and everything. But remember that if this is on, you still have it connected to your computer so you have to click here and it will be turned off and then you can get out of the app and that's it that's for motion controls anybody who was watching that video let's get back to super smash bros and you can see that it's working it does have 60 frames per second let's go into menu and play The update version I'm using is this one of Smash and as you can see I loaded up all the DLC so they are working with this update 12.00 okay she's our character can add more people
this is a new stage. We'll see building shaders. I'm also getting hit by everything because I'm holding the camera while moving. Just doing what I can with just one hand. And here we go. See, it's still strong. If you have Vulcan, you'll never notice any type of slowdowns. I guess those shaders are faster than OpenGL, but my preference is OpenGL because there's like little glitches in the graphics textures, so it's better with this. But as you can see, we're all fighting. These are characters I never have loaded up before, so it also has that problem. Like frame rates right now are trying to get back to. 60, but they haven't gotten back. They're staying on 50 to 49 because these characters are new. They never have been seen by the computer. And the stage, no, I haven't played the stage either, so no. But after you have shaded them, it will go back to 60, so you have no problems with that. Like I've just shown in other videos. See that stop that ha happened there? That's a shader in OpenGL. If you use AMD, this is not gonna happen. Vulcan API won't have this problem of stopping to do a shader. So if Vulcan works better for you, you can go there. But this is what I use. I do use Vulcan for Mario Kart. 8 Deluxe is way better and I do use Vulcan for Nickelodeon Brawl it's way better too and here we go see this back to oh it's still in the shaders again but it was back see it's back to 50 and it's soon be back to 60 and I actually do not notice any slowdowns when I'm playing, just when shading. So those are my settings for Super Smash Bros. Ultimate and NVIDIA GT710. Thanks for watching and if you have any requests or any questions you can just leave them down in the comments below or in my discord channel thanks for watching